Welcome back, Hair Blazer. Every single one of you does this thing that I'm gonna talk about in today's video, yet when you do this, you leave out, often times, you leave out one very important factor. So what I'm talking about is making decisions, making caregiving decisions. Everybody watching this right now has at some point and will continue to be making care decisions for your loved one with dementia. But when you do this, so many of you are forgetting one very important piece of information when you make this decision. Are you ready for it? You, you forget to consider yourself in making these decisions. So if you're somebody who struggles with making decisions when your loved one with dementia doesn't agree with you, or even when other people who are somehow involved with your loved one with dementia don't agree with your decisions, if you're somebody who struggles with those things, you're not gonna wanna miss this video. Oftentimes when making a decision, you're thinking of cost, feasibility, time constraints, other people, what your loved one wants, so many things that you're considering, but oftentimes you don't consider yourself in that equation at all, or if you do, it's like the last thing that you consider. And I wanna to talk today about why it is absolutely necessary for you to consider yourself when making caregiving decisions, how that does benefit your loved one with dementia as well. So let's break this down using an example. Let's say you're considering putting your loved one in an adult day healthcare facility once or twice a week. It would provide your loved one with increased socialization, cognitive stimulation, it would get them out of the house, it would provide them with a different environment, it would also give you an opportunity to have more of a break. That way you could run errands, go to your own appointments, hang out with friends, sleep, whatever you want. So you might consider your loved one's perspective and your loved one's perspective might be they don't want to go, they're fearful of going, they tell you that they don't want to go. You might think about what other people might be thinking of you, like what are you doing while your loved one's away from the home? What are they gonna think about you as a person, as somebody who's taking time for themselves to go do something for themselves or even just sleep or hang out with a friend while your loved one's in this facility? You might consider the cost. How much is it gonna be? Can I afford it? Is it really worth it? You might notice guilt starting to creep in like, how can I take my loved one somewhere they don't wanna go just to make life a little bit easier on me? And if you consider all those things, you know, the picture's kind of looking like, yeah, I don't really think it's a good idea to take my loved one to an adult day healthcare center. But what if we threw you into the equation? What would taking your loved one with dementia to an adult day healthcare center do for you? Would it give you time to focus on your health? Would it give you time to reset, refresh, and even be more ready and calm when your loved one gets home? Would it allow you to feel more loving and caring to your loved one rather than constantly stressed and frustrated that all your free time is going to take care of him or her? Would this give you the opportunity to connect with other people who are important in your life, like friends, spouses, other family members you haven't been able to see or talk to because of how busy you are? Would your caregiving improve with this added break? So much good can come from your loved one going to this adult day healthcare center, but we often let fear about what other people think, concerns about what our loved one wants to make decisions for us, even when it comes at our own expense. Now, I'm not saying do only what you wanna do without considering what your loved one wants. What I am saying is that you are an equal part of the consideration factor when making important decisions. And all too often, you're only considering the one side, what your loved one wants. If you did all the time exactly what your loved one with dementia wanted you to do, then your loved one with dementia would still be driving a car, still be managing the finances, still be cooking and using the stove regularly, still be trying to go to work that they haven't worked in decades, still be using power tools, machine tools, riding a lawnmower, right? 
your loved one, if we did and just made decisions exactly what they wanted, it would put their health and their life and maybe even the lives of other people at risk. And it's much clearer for you in your mind to realize you need to step in and go against what your loved one wants when the safety is very apparent that there's a safety issue. However, when it comes to be something where it's not considered necessary, all of a sudden we tend to just let our loved ones run the show without considering ourselves any longer. For so many of you, a lot of caregiver decisions have been entirely one-sided. And what this ends up doing is that it leads to caregiver burnout, frustration, in some cases your own health decline, and that care blazers ends up harming your loved one with dementia even more than some of the decisions you're considering, like whether or not to take your loved one to a social outing once or twice a week. Don't just look at the day ahead of you or the week ahead of you when making some of these decisions. Look at the month ahead of you, the months ahead of you, the years ahead of you. How will this decision impact you and your functioning in the future? My challenge to all of you from this video is to consider yourself in addition to considering your loved one when you're making care decisions. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you happen to know of another care blazer who's caring for a loved one with dementia and can benefit from some of the words in this video, go ahead and share this with them. The more people we can help, the better. I'll be back next Sunday, as always, with another video. In the meantime, care blazer, keep up the good work and don't forget yourself.